today is the day of salvation. If you have not turned your whole life over to the Lord, today can be your day. Isaiah 55, 6 and 7 says, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord and he will have mercy on him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon. If you need to forgive someone, forgive them. If there's sin in your life, let it go. Today is a dark day in America. If you have not heard, there's going to be an eclipse later today. A lot of people think, oh, it's the rapture, it's the rapture. There's many things that have to happen. Uh, before Jesus comes back. But it says in the word that the there will be signs in the sun, moon, and stars. And the sun will go dark before the great and terrible day of the Lord. But there's other things that have to happen too. If you've been taught that you'll be raptured before the tribulation, you have been taught falsely. We still have time today. We still have time. You still have time to get right with the Lord to ask for forgiveness, to turn from whatever you're uh, involved in. You can turn from it. Seek the Lord. He says, behold, I stand at the door and knock. Anyone hears my voice, let him open the door. And I'll come in and I will have supper with him. It was one of the most uh, intimate meetings was to eat with someone back in the biblical days. Jesus wants to be close to you. Will you stop pushing him away? Today is the day of salvation. There's many things that we will have to go through. If you stand for Christ, prepare to stand for Christ. I don't try to tell people of the bad things that are coming to scare them, but to prepare them. I want all of us to be prepared for what is coming. Y'all be blessed.